Hi YouTubers, John Nunes here. Today we're going to talk about back gear on a Logan lathe, model 2557. Uh, this is a quick change uh, gear setup. It's a 12 by 36 US made lathe. A very nice lathe, I love it. Uh, I picked it up about, I don't know, six or seven years ago off of a guy that did sculptures. Uh, and he used to turn big screws to hold the large pieces of granite together. Um, so today what I wanted to do was show you how to set up the back gear on this thing and go into back gear mode uh, to, so you can utilize your lower RPMs on this machine. For a lot of, for a long time I didn't know how to do that. So when I cut threads and stuff, I used to do it in the upper range, which is pretty difficult sometimes when you're doing really small short cuts uh, and you've got a shoulder that you're coming up against too really quick. Uh, but I learned that way, so now that I'm now that I really know how to slow things down, uh, it's really a, a, a piece of cake. So let me show you how this is done. Uh, I know a lot of you guys out there that are machinists are thinking, Jesus, how menial, how pity. Uh, how petty this is but for a newbie it's not petty and for somebody that buys this machine there's not a whole lot of information on the internet that gives you the proper guidance so I'm gonna try to chronicle some of the stuff that I do on this machine stuff that I've learned and try to pass it on to guys that are just getting into the field or or, or have this particular machine so here we go so first thing we're gonna do is Lower this down and <clears throat> get a good shot of this. That looks like about right. Let me get a flashlight. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take these screws off the side here. And uh, we're going to pull this cover off, just like this. Now, if you look at this wheel right here, in between this wheel and this pulley here, there's a set screw right there. You can see it right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to loosen that set screw. Kind of hard to get in there. Um, I've been meaning to make a, a little tool for that. Um, kind of an offset thing because with the uh, cover on it, you can't you can't get a straight shot on it. So that was going to make me a little wrench with an S on it to get in there and loosen this thing up. So once you've got that. Once you got that set screw loosened up, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this gear right here and you're going to slide it back just like that. So now you can see that I've disengaged this pulley, which is coming off of the gear motor at the bottom. And uh, I've disengaged the main shaft from that. So now what you do is you come over here and right here, there's this lever and you just grab a hold of this lift it up a little bit like that and pull it out if it doesn't want to come all the way out what you have to do is you have to grab a hold of this and shake it a little bit and it'll pop out and then and go down so this has to be lifted up pushed back in to disengage that pulled out and down to engage that so once that's done your back ear set your uh, wheel is pulled back. You're no longer in direct drive. So then, come over here. 
make sure everything is clear. Let me start her up. And you can see how slow this thing is going. The range on this is, is 40 on the low side, which is the red, all the way to 220. This is direct drive, the silver scale on the outside here. That's the high speed direct drive. And this is the back gear, low range, 40 to 220 RPMs per minute. And then with this, it's variable speed, so as you crank this, your RPMs go up. And that's that's about it it's very simple very simple operation but for somebody that doesn't really know how to do that um, it's, it's very difficult you know for to get any information on <clears throat> on how to do that and, and 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 you just all you do is you you disengage your your back gear you shove this back where it belongs Index it with that little coupler, that Lovejoy setup, and then turn this until your set screw is straight up. And then just tighten this all down with your set screw. Like this. Stick something in there to make it a little cheater. And tighten that up a little bit. And then you just take your cover. Slide your cover back on here. Like that. Put your thumb screws back on. Like this. to direct drive straight through and you can see the big difference here that's straight through and this is that's that's 250 rpms right there this is 2000 rpms that thing is screaming Very nice lathe, very quiet, uh, very well built. Um, I love it. Okay, guys, that's it. That's your little tutorial. Hopefully you uh, you like this video, and uh, hopefully it helps somebody out there, uh, especially the, the newbies. Um, I, I uh, you know, being a self-taught machinist. Um, it's really, really difficult sometimes to get information out of somebody that really knows their stuff. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you want to call it arrogance or or what, but a lot of times guys don't have the time for you. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the intellectual level involved, but um, I, I just hope this helps somebody that that is just dumbfounded about what they're doing. Okay. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you, you watching. Bye-bye now.